St. Augustine beautifully said that our hearts are restless until they rest in you. That you, of course, being Jesus, are Jesus. There's a restlessness of this moment, I think, that many of us are feeling. A restlessness in when is this going to be over? When do I not have to shelter in place? When can my daily routine be just that, my daily routine? Not this weird kind of conglomeration of being at home but having to work from home and all that goes along with that. There's a restlessness in wanting to go to the store and not be limited on how many gallons of milk or eggs or packages of toilet paper we can purchase. There's a restlessness in wanting to be able to stand wherever you want when you're in that grocery line and not have to worry about physically distancing ourselves from each other. There's a restlessness in all of our hearts because our freedom that we're so used to is being limited. And yet I think the restlessness that's associated with this moment might be further exacerbated because we're not allowing our very self rest in God. Augustine's right. Our hearts are restless until they rest in the Lord. Because ultimately, when we're resting in the Lord, that means that we've allowed Jesus to move in. And we're not charging him rent. We willingly allow him to move into the chambers of our heart and allow him to make it his home. Even those places that are restless, and we don't want him there, we want to be stubborn and stay in the anxiety of this moment and the restlessness of this moment. But yet true freedom comes when we allow him into that restlessness so he can still it and bring us peace and calm. The song that I'll share with you today, Restless, is by Audrey Assad and Matt Maher, two wonderful composers that we have in our Christian world today. And the lyric speaks of restlessness and encourages us to allow our hearts to rest in God. My prayer for us today, myself included, is that we might be still in this moment because we've allowed our restless hearts to rest with the Lord who calms our fears and our anxiety and assures us that in the stillness, he's present. Whisper in the dark, the 
Christ.